I can't spell. Don't mind me. Yeah, I asked my friend. I was like, "What is the name of this Pokemon?" And he replied to with he replied to me with, "Isongheishi." And I was like, <laughs> "Okay, for context, I'm just gonna Google Translate so you guys know what Isonghe means." Okay, wait. So he said, "Isongheishi," and I was like, "I know he's weird, but what's his name?" And he's like, "Isongheishi," <laughs> and I was like. I get it. He's a weird Pokemon. What's his name? Hold on. Let me go to Korean. So if I post... Oh, wait. So if you post Lee sung into Korean, like, translator, it means strange or actually, I would say it means weird more than strange. Like, it means weird. And so I kept, re like, replying, like, I know he's weird. I know that the Pokemon is weird, but what's his name? And um, they were just like, his name is weird. <laughs> and I was like, I know, but what is it? <laughs> I was so confused. So in Korean, is hung hae means like weird or strange. And then when you add the she, that means like mister or like person or like it's so it's like addressing him as like. So his name in Korean is is hung hae she, which literally translates to like Mr. Weirdo. I don't know why Korea gave him the name Mr. Weirdo, but I love Bulbasaur. <laughs> and I was just like, I was like, what's his name? And they just kept telling me his name is weird. And I was like, I get that, but what is his name? Just tell me his name. <laughs> I didn't actually realize for the longest time that his real, that Bulbasaur's name in Korean is literally, he's Mr. Weirdo. He's Mr. Weird. And then, okay, so the other ones are called Isonghe Pul, which means like Isonghe, like leaf. So the second one, Ivysaur is uh, Isonghe leaf. And then Ivysaur, oh wait, Ivysaur? The big, the big guy. The big guy, his name is Isonghe Got, which means, which means weird flower. Oh my gosh, why can't I? I'm just going to copy and paste this because I can't, I can't function properly okay so venusaur thank you the venusaur yeah so venusaur's name in korean is isong he got got and isong he got means weird flower so his name is just weird flower i thought that they would have references to frogs or like dinosaur or something but nope just a weird flower that's literally his name is just directly translated is just weird flower I learned so much Korean from playing Pokemon. <laughs> what a weird name, <laughs> right? <laughs> what a weird flower. What a weird leaf. Wait, what was the second one again? Isonghe pul. Pul, pul, pul. Pul, pul, pul. Pul, pul. Okay, Isonghe pul. So yeah, here's Isonghe pul, which means weird leaf. Honestly, he's a cute weird leaf, right? Look at that little weird leaf. So cute. Fighting name. Do all of, no only only this Pokemon has the name Weird in its name. Every other Pokemon is quite normal. They don't have normal in their name, but they they don't have Weird in their name either. Is what I'm trying to say. Namuiki. Okay. Let's go here. Wait, does this man? Why are there Wikipedia pages not loading? I can't remember what Charmander's name is, but I'm pretty sure it's, like, Lizard. Hold on. Um... Pokemon? Actually, let me go to... Uh, Pokemon... I think it's Lizard. Hold on. I gotta spell that out. Li... Jo, 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 jo. Lizard. D d d Lizardmon. <laughs> that is so bad. I butchered that so bad. Oh my gosh. I really am bad with spelling in Korean, honestly. My spelling is is trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where am I working? Hold on. Um, pop up. 
Nice. They have a pop-up store. Um, Kaore. Kaore is their new region, isn't it? I'm looking for... I don't know what the Pokedex is called in Korean. Um, Deepu Deepu Pop-up store. Um... So, Kaore, I think, is the new Pokemon region? Yeah. Man, I cannot remember a lot of random words. Like, I really don't remember what a Pokedex is in Korean. Maybe it is just Pokedex. Hold on, let me look up... Poket... Poket... Dex? De... X, 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 x. How do I make the sound? X. K. Oh, X. K. S. K. S. Pokedex. Did that work? Did, I was like, did that actually work? Nope, it didn't work. I don't know what Pokedex is in Korean. Paldeas in Scarlet and Violet? Ah! I do. The dripping tap water. Man, I just want to find Charmander. Charmander. What's his name in Korean? Char plus Salamander equals Charmander. Oh, his name's Fairy. That's right. It's Pairi. Pairi. So Charmander's name is Pairi. And then where is... um? And then his name is Lizard. So his name is English. So right here it says... Lizard. Lizard. So it's like if a Korean was trying to say the word lizard, his name is Lizard. Lizard. And then, and then right here, Charmander's name is Lizard Mong. Lizard Mong. Which is like lizard, like lizard Pokemon. Like lizard Mong. It's like a cute name. Lizard Mong. Then we have Mega Lizard Mong. We got. Oh, X, Y, and then Lijomong. What is that? Kodaipex? Kodaipex? What does Kodaipex mean? Kodaipex? Oh, Ditto! What is Ditto's name in Korean? I forgot. Gigamax. Oh! Kodaim... Kodaimax. Ah, interesting. Okay. I wish I could just find the whole Pokedex. It sounds cute pronounced like that, Lijomong or Kai uh Kodai Kodai mix. Man, I'm struggling. Okay, there's gotta be a thing that shows every Pokemon, right? Like where Where do I find every Pokemon? Where are your secrets? Tell me your secrets right now. Pokemon Red. Okay, Pokemon Red. Now, where do we find our Pokedex? Game Boy. Okay, okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> Isong Heishi. Charmander, Squirtle, Tokburi. Okay, that's cute. You know that Lord is gonna Google it like I did the last one. Ditto. Where's your dittos? Look at tongue in German is funny. What? What's look at tongue in German? I'm sure the Pokedex is the same in German and English. Why do they need a new word for that? Right? Oh, okay. His name is... Is it... I think it's Metamo? Is it Gyobe? Wait, what is his name? What are you? Dedoka. Okay, but what is Dedo's name? Sir. Sir, please. 
Is it? I think it's Meta Mong. Meta Mong. I think that's his name right here. Meta Mong. I. Like a. I think it's a. I think Meta Mong is supposed to be like a play on words with like metamorphosis and Pokemon. So instead of being Ditto, they call it Meta Mong. So like metamorphous Pokemon. Meta Mong. Meta Mong is kind of a. Not that cool of a name. Oh, Eevee's the same though. Eevee. Lapras. <laughs> what? Really? PC Journey? What's going on? I'm looking at Pokemon names in Korean, but I'm also... I'm, I need to be playing some... Some, uh... Paper Mario. I wonder what Lickitung's name is. Wish I could just... Wait. Metamon. P. His name's just P. That's the cutest thing I've ever heard in my life. His name or her name is just P. And then and then the second one is P P. And then the third one is is a uh, P Pixie. Pixie. Oh, Pixie. Pixie. His name's Pixie. Ah, it's it's English. Usually when I can't figure out what something is, it's because it's English. So this one is Pichu. That one's the same. Nido King. Uh, Pupurin. That's the same in English. Um, uh, Sixu Tail. So his name's Six Tails. Sixu Tail. Um, but yeah, this one's cute. P. 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 Pixie. <laughs> so cute. P is like a really cute, kissy word in Korean. That's adorable. I love it. Um... Kenka. That's Kangaskang, isn't it? Yup. Kenka. How long did it take me to learn Korean? Um... I went to Korean language school for... What was it? Two or three years? Reading Korean, though, only takes 20 minutes. It only takes 20 minutes to learn how to read and write Korean. I think the only hard part was learning... Grammar. That was hard. Let me see. Let me see. What do we got here? What do we got here? Um. What? This one's Aboku. Oh, Aboku? Aboku? I don't know what that is. I'm thinking it's Abra? Is that Abra? Oh, Abark. Abark. Wait, his name's Abark, right? Aba? Wait, Abo? Aboku. Oh, yeah. So, Ar 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 Arbok. That's what his name is in English. Man, I... Struggling. I'm trying to guess these Pokemon names. Yeah, yeah, it only takes 20 minutes to learn how to read Korean. It's super easy. It's, a uh, Korean was the, like, the reading and writing system of Korean was... So, Korean, or Hangul, which is their writing system, it was created to be the easiest, um, language to ever learn how to read and write, ever. It's one of the newer languages ever in the world, too, because before that, they used the Chinese alphabet, like Japan. And they completely got rid of it because only, like, high up, uh, people were able to do that. So, King Sejong, uh, he created Hangul, and it's the easiest reading and writing system to ever learn. It's almost like, I would almost say it's like English, and it's almost like, you know when you make stars and squiggly lines, and it's like, you pass a note in school, and then you have, like, a little translating thing, so your friend doesn't know what you're saying, or the teacher doesn't know what the note says? It's like that. It's just like that. Korean is just like that. Like, for example, this, this like, w the snake looking part right here is always L. That's A. That's O. That's I. And that's T sound. And then that's U sound. So you, this one is Raichu. Raichu. Which you could probably guess it's Raichu. This is Raichu. And then. Pikachu. Korean is Pig Latin? Exactly. It really is. Like, well, at least the reading and writing system is. It, like I said, it only takes 20 minutes. Okay, what is this one? Ingo King. Ingo King. What is Ingo King? Ingo. Ingo means salmon. King. Ingo King. So, Salmon King? This Pokemon's name is Salmon King. I think it's Magikarp. I'm gonna guess that this Pokemon is Magikarp. Oh, I was right. Yep, magic carp. Ingo king. Because ingo means salmon, and then king means king. 
And then Gyarados is the same. It's Gyarados. 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 His name is Kenta Losu? Wait, Ken Kentaros? Kentaros? Wait, what's his name in English? What's this thing's name in English? Kentaros. Kentaros. Oh, Taurus. Kentaros. Ah, okay. Interesting. Seeking. Oh, yeah. You were guessing Seeking? Okay, let's see. Let's. See. I like this Pokemon guessing game. I think it's fun. Okay, this one's name is Dudu. Do you guys have any guess what a Dudu is? Oh, it's it's Doug Trio or Dodo, the the, the double-headed bird, right? That's what it is. Yeah, Hangura is super easy. I'm I'm guessing it's the Dodo bird, but in Korean his name is Dudu. Wait, it doesn't show a picture of Dudu. Wait, what? Hold on, we gotta look this up. Pokemon Dudu. Do, do. What? Why is it showing Ditto? Oh, because I put Ditto. That's not Pokemon. Sorry. <laughs> Let me redo this. Po. Ket. Mong. Pocket Mong. Do, do. Oh, yep. It is. Dodo. Yep. Do, do. They <laughs> Like, cause the... Uh, in Korean, it never changes. So I wonder if in English, Dodo's name is supposed to be pronounced Dudu. Dudu. Alright. I just... Wait. I got you in my car now, so I can watch you on my way to work. You can watch me guess Pokemon names. I think... I don't know why I'm having such a fun time with this. It's so random. Okay, let's see. This one. Poo... Oh wait, hold on. Pukurin. 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 What is Pukurin? Do you guys have any guesses of what the heck a Pukurin is? Yeah, yeah. So the no, the letters stack by syllables. So that's why um so that's why this so this is P and U and in Korean this one so this word has three syllables cuz it stacks by syllables. I want to look up what Pukurin is. Pukurin. Oh, what? It's a jiggly... What? I would have never guessed that. Wigglytuff. Oh, but then Jigglypuff's name is Pudin. Pudin is actually a super cute name. And then this one's name is Pupudin. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so cute. You guys want me to teach you some Korean? Oh, this one's a pretty name. It's a... Uh... Uh, this is a flower Pokemon. It has to be a flower. Wait, wait, am I... Sp Hold on. My eyes are a little fuzzy, so I can't tell if that's bum or bull. A Terra Puff. Bo Botopur? Botopur? Oh, this is, uh, pur means like butterfly, so this is butterfree. Botopur. Yeah, butterfree. Botopur. Oh, whoa, this butterfree is pretty. Butterfree Mega or something? Max? Puttopur. So pur in Korean, I know, means a uh, butterfly? Let me get my pen and paper. Oh, okay. You want, me get, you want me to teach you some Korean? Okay, what else we got here? Kadi. 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 Oh, I would have never guessed Kadi in a million years. No, never. Okay. Kopuri. 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 I have no idea. What is Kopuri? Yep, I would have never guessed Kopuri either. There's a... Uh, Kopuri? And then this one is... Vulcan... Vulcano? Vulcano and Kopuri. Hmm. Interesting. What else we got? Adoran. Your guy, Karnamani? Oh, I love him. Um, I don't know... I don't know how to sp I don't know what it is in Korean. Let's find out. In American... In American? In English, it's Totodile. Right? It's this one, right? Totodile. 
What is his name? What is your name, Totodaya? Right, Mr. Mime should be Mr. Weirdo. I agree. His name is Liako. 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 That's a cute name, Liako. Liako. Um, I used to like a K-pop group called Super Junior. That'll probably tell people my age. Super Junior. This boy band is so old, I'm pretty sure all the members are like 40 years old. <laughs> this one's my favorite. He's my favorite. How old is he? He was born in 1988. He's 36 years old. That was my bias, if you will. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, I wish I had my iPad right now. Hangul. Okay, so here's actually a thing. This one actually I feel like makes it a little more complicated because it has them together. So, That's how you say the alphabet in Korean. So you go, <laughs> I'm struggling with that one. So these are the vowels over here, and these are the consonants up here. Oh yeah, so actually this is pretty good. So up here, this is G, or kind of a G, K sound. Um, usually it's a K at the beginning of a word, um, and then a G sound in the middle of the word. So it's softer, but it's G. And then this one's always N, N. This is D, or D, or like a... I don't know how to describe it. Da, da, yeah. La. Or it's like an L R sound, so it's la or r. No, it, they don't have like a r. They have la, 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 and then ma, ba, s, o, t, or j, t, k, t, p, h. So it's almost like the English alphabet. They didn't put it in A B C order. I could put it in A B C order. And then this is a, ya, yo, uh, ya. I struggle with this one when it's not connected. Go, go, it's all, all. And then yo. And then this one is o, yo, u, or sorry, yeah, u, yu. And then k, u, a, gay. <laughs> it says gay. <laughs> I'm sorry. The first thing I read is a. And then right here, right next to it, it says gay. Nay. They, re, me, be, se, a, j, che, k, te, pe, he. The EU pronounce? It's like, um, it's weird because in Korean, it, in Korean it's like a flat line. So it's so interesting because in Korean, like, it almost shows, once you learn Korean a little bit more, it kind of shows the positioning of your tongue, if that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't make sense. So, the g sound, um, pretends like the g is your tongue. And when you say g, it's like the, that point hits the back of your throat, if that makes sense. So, when you say g, it's like your tongue bounces off and hits the back of your throat. So, g, and then a uh, is like, um, you open your mouth and, and you expel the vowel. So, you open your mouth and then out comes vowel. So, g. Ga. And then N is like you when you say N, you have to like you put your tongue like the tongue kind of goes up in the back of your throat or sorry, not up in the back of your throat. It, it's kind of flat in the back of your throat. And then uh, N, your tongue is kind of touching the back of your teeth. So N, da. Da is like you just da. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. La is uh, your your tongue kind of bounces back. It does that wave thing. La. Ma, you open, just open your mouth. Ma, ma, ba. So ba is like ma, but you give it almost like a higher intonation. So ma, ba, ba. So same like just opening your mouth and expelling the sound. So ma, ba, if that makes sense. Su, su looks kind of like a snake tongue. So su, su, su. 
snake tongue. It's just like split like a snake tongue. Oh, oh, you make your mouth form an oh sound. Oh, oh. Um, usually, actually, if it's in the beginning, it's actually silent. So right here, it's oh, but right here with an a vowel, this is actually the. It's gonna be silent, and then it's just gonna be ah. Um, ju, ju is a weird one because it's kind of like you, it, it kind of has the S looking symbol here. So it's like you start flat, like with your mouth closed kind of, and then you do like a kind of a S down. So T, T. And then this one's a sharper T, T. And then K, K. It's weird, but yeah, basically the, how the symbols look actually are supposed to match how your mouth is to be formed, if that makes sense. I see it now. I think when you first learn though, it kind of looks crazy, but, and then these are the vowels. Um, so when I was saying the EU sound, it's like a flat line. So for example, this one's G, right? And then with the, with the EU sound, it's G, G. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like flatlining the vowel, um, N. D, R, M, B, S, U, U. That's the sound. U. Um. T, T, K, T, P, H. Um. You can't match J with your mouth unless you're a predator. So the reason why J looks like this though is because um. So the S sound looks like a snake tongue, right? So it's like S, and then the J sound is like. It's like flat, so it's like, um, kind of like your mouth kind of starts almost, not in a closed position, but similar to a closed position. So you go, t. So, s, s, t. It's like, I don't know how to describe it, but your mouth is not closed all the way, but kind of closed. So that symbol is supposed to like, show how your mouth is supposed to make the sounds. It's very weird. I think when you learn Korean more, you see the symbols and it the symbols show you how to pronounce the words. I don't know how to describe it. Um and like so for example, remember with ma. So ma, your mouth is kind of open and you just ma. Or sorry, just m ma. Ma. Um ba. So ba. It's like you have a higher intonation. So that's why it's like it's like the m, but then it has two lines that go up to make to kind of create like a higher intonation. So it's Ma, ba, ba, ma, ba. And then over here, if you go to the P, it's like the symbol looks a little different. So it's still like the base of ma, but it's almost like making your mouth close after. I don't know how to describe, but you go pa, pa. It's so weird. Yeah, it's interesting how other languages are constructed. This one takes 20 minutes to learn how to read and write. So um, like I said before, each symbol when they are connected so right here this is a g this is an a when they stack together this is ga and this is one syllable so when you're reading korean for example if we go over to here this is li li so if we go back to our thing here we can find the l wait where did l go right here so we can find li right here li li um and then that's one syllable, and then this is ah. So when I said the the circle is silent at the beginning, um, at the end it's ung, and at the beginning it's ah. It's silent. So ah, so that's li ah, and that's ko. So yeah, if we go over here, that's k, and then we're gonna stack it with an o to make ko, ko, liya ko. So yeah, that's the Akon. Pokemon, this is the word Pokemon right here. Wait, why can't I highlight it? So that's Po. So we go to our P. Drop down to our O, Po. So you just gotta know the syllables for the vowels and the syllables for the consonants. And then, like in English, we just write out each vowel. And you could do that in Korean too. Um, but they combined them to be a one syllable. Ah, here's another thing that shows it. So G or K, N, D, R, M, B, S, Ng, J, Ch, K, P, T, P, H. So yeah, these are your consonants. And then, whoops, I want a big picture. Yeah, that's a good big picture. And then these are your vowels. So, ah, this is always ah. Ya. Yeah. 
I'm guessing the hard part is then to learn all of the words in the grammar. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, like, so basically the words, because then you can learn how to read and write, right? Like, I knew how to read Korean before I understood what the words meant, if that makes sense. So, right here, for example, mi kuk, mi kuk, mi kuk means American, mi kuk, it means beautiful country, beautiful country. So, mi kuk is American, and, um, what was I gonna say about that? Yeah, when I first was learning Korean, like, I could read mi kuk, but I had no idea that mi kuk meant American, because I didn't know what mi kuk meant in Korean. <laughs> uh, Korean in Korean, Korea, sorry, Korea in Korean is han kuk. Which is supposed to combine letters to make it easier to interpret sounds. Yeah. But yeah, Korean is, like, to read and write it, it takes 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, then you gotta understand, then you gotta memorize a lot of words. So, um, han kuk means, um, Korean, or Korea, sorry. And then han gul means Korean. So, like, it means, like, they're reading and writing language. Um... Hangul. Yeah, there's so many here. To memorize the Korean words, it takes 900 years. <laughs> it doesn't take that long, I promise. It's not that long. You learned really quickly, so I played Pokemon in Korean, to be honest. Yeah, so Hankuk means Korean. I'll show you. Uh... <clears throat> Korean, or sorry, Google Translate. Yeah, Hankook is a Korean Thai brand, yeah. To be fair though, when you go to Korea, everything is named Hankook. Literally everything. You'll go to Han you'll go in Korea, you'll see like a grocery store and its name is Hankook. And you're like, oh, there's another Hankook store. But yeah, I know that Hankook tires are really popular. They're not very good with naming, or I shouldn't say not good with naming things, but they're, I feel like their naming isn't very unique. Like, Samsung means three stars. <laughs> Samsung. Sam means three. Song means stars. Three stars. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't take long. In fact, when you, when I, or when I played Pokemon in Korean, I feel like I learned uh, Korean so fast, actually, because... Wait, where's that one page we were at? Darn it, I lost it. Bye, Wolf! I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. Um... Oh, there it is. I found it. Yes. Oh, this one's name is... Ari... Oh, wait. Arari. 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 Puroshi. Oh, his name's Plushy. What the heck? That's so cute. I did not name his name. So this is such a good play on words. Oh my gosh. I feel like its name should have been Plushy. Uh, Plushy. And like, or I guess it doesn't make as much sense. So in Korean, when you say Plus, like plus, you you have to say it differently, right? So you say Pul. Instead of plus in English, you say Plus. Plus. Um, Plus means like plus. But... In in Korean, it's a play on words because it's plushy. So instead of saying plus, it's plushy. So it also sounds like plushy. That's adorable. That's such a good one. Plushy. Plushy. That's cute. Plushy is actually a really creative one. Hankook had a crazy promotional drift car years ago. A cla Really? It was too expensive to run, but it's worth a lot more now. Oh, I bet. Oh, I bet. I had so many friends that knew, um... I had so many Navajo friends. Oh, man. I love Navajo tacos. I grew up... My neighbors... So, where I grew up in Utah, my neighbors to, like... Or, sorry. If I'm here in this house, my neighbors to the... That's my left. <laughs> the neighbors to the left of me were Navajo. My neighbors to the right of me were Korean. My neighbors across the street from my Korean uh, neighbor was... Um from Mexico, so they spoke Spanish. And then the people across from me, they were just another white family. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, Hankook probably was a movie too, yeah. 
It probably was. They in Korea they name everything Hanku. Everything. Mainong. Mainong. That's cute. Oh my gosh, their names are so cute. Koil. Anyways. <laughs> 